given the long run of the story mm -hmm. of the, the series and many directions it's taken over the years, are you pleased with the way it's going to end? Oh, yeah, I had to throw that one back. <laughs> um, I've talked about this a little bit before. Uh, some of you may have heard this, um, but we, we went and sat down in the writer's room uh, over the summer, and, um, and that's the first time we've done that ever in 15 years, or 14 years, I guess. And, and they gave us the pitch on what they had thought or what they were planning to do for the end of the show. And, uh, and we, I heard the pitch and I was like, okay. And at first I was, I, I was kind of, uh, I didn't, I, it just it didn't sit well with me. Um, and I, I, I went home, I slept on it, thought about it for a few days and I just, I was like, I just, I don't, I don't know. I just uh, I wasn't I wasn't digging it, and and so I, I was talking to my wife about it, and she was like, "Well, you should call um, you should call somebody and talk to them about it." And I'm like, "Well, who? Everybody that was you know was, would be was there in the room. Like they're all they're all on board." Um, and she said, "Call Eric, who Kripke, who created the show, who's not on, who's not on the show anymore. He's off doing the the boys." Which is a different show, which is fantastic if you haven't seen it. It's great. Um, so I called him up and I said, hey man, you built this world. These are your characters that you created. This is how we're gonna wrap it up. I'm having a problem digesting it, and I need your take on it. Just from an outsider's perspective who understands the world uh, as well as he did. And he said, Let me, I'm getting on a plane right now, let me think about it, I'll send you, I'll send you an email. Great. So I got an email next day, and he, he broke it down in a way that really made sense, and, and he basically reminded me, he was like, you're too close to it. You gotta step back and look at it from, a, from an audience perspective, from, from a fan perspective, and think about what this is, what the characters are gonna go through, what the story's gonna go through, and how that is going to settle once all the dust clears. And I thought about it, and he was right. And now I really, uh, I'm excited about the ending of the show, and I think I think you guys will too. And again, if at first you're like, what? <laughs> Take a minute, step step back, and look at it maybe from a broader perspective, and think about how other endings might not might have fallen a little short or a little flat compared to what we're doing. So I hope you guys like it. We're going to try our best to knock it out of the park, like we always do. You guys have been with us for a long, long time. We don't want to let you down. I don't want to let myself down. I don't want to let my friends and our cast and our crew down. So this is not us just kind of drifting off into the night. This is us going out with as big a firework show as you could possibly have. Episodes and our favorite episodes are when we kind of have a throwback. Um, and then hopefully in the ending, and I'll say this, I'm not gonna say the ending obviously, but I think any season of the last 14, if you were to ask what the finale was, while we were filming episode two, that's not what the finale ended up being. You know, we're gonna bob and weave and Supernatural's always kind of been able to, to, to gauge the temperature and, and do what's best for the show and best for the story. Um, but I, what I want for Sam and Dean Winchester, if the show is gonna end and it's going to, is for them to have some form of peace, whatever that looks like. If that's on a beach, great. If that's dead, Great. If that's in space, great. If that's opening a bottle of bourbon or something, great. Um, so uh, any of the above, um, I would love to have Sam and Dean have some sort of peace that they have. have. Uh, something I changed about the character, uh, probably his diet. <laughs> uh, because at this point, Dean is more likely to die from heart disease than a vampire. So, uh, Fair enough. yeah, there we go. True story. Favorite creature from the show? Ooh. I don't know. It's. I mean, there's been so many really good ones, and 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 even ones that uh, that I got to direct. Um, you know, there was. I I, I guess I got to say that. Me personally, I always like playing Dean going into a vampire nest. 
because I kind of feel like it's, it's just, it's, he understands it the most. He, he knows how to battle these things. Uh, and he has fun doing it. He, I think he truly enjoys that kind of a hunt. Uh, so that's, yeah, I'll go, I'll go with, I'll go with the easy answer and that's vampire. Yeah. So during the, uh, hiatus between season 14 and 15, Jared and I went out to LA and sat down in the writer's room, uh, which I think is the first time we've ever done that. You know, we sat there and listened and, um, I didn't think it was going to be very, it, it, it wasn't like a, a brainstorming session or a, it was like, this is what we have, uh, take it or leave it. <laughs> and I kind of walked out of there just uneasy. I don't know whether it was just the fact that I had just heard the, the ending of a show that had been going for 15 years and I just, uh, you know, too, too close to it to, to really accept a, a finality to it. Right. Um, but it certainly wasn't, um, it wasn't settling in uh, as easy as, as I would have hoped. Um, and I, I struggled with it. And I, I've, this is no secret. I've, I've shared this before. So I had a conversation with Kripke about it. This was, I mean, this is going back a year over, you know, maybe a year and a half ago. Um, he, he just kind of put things in a perspective that really helped me kind of identify why I was having trouble with it but also why it was uh, a really great idea for an ending. And so from then on, I was, I was kind of all in.